So, let's use this one first. You can see, it's just got a couple of treats knocked away in there. You can get a gravy bone and a bit of cheese. The camera's trying to focus on it now. Oh, hang on, drops off. This is Roxy's favorite toy. Now, if your dog's not used one of these before, they'll very quickly cotton onto the idea that there's something nice inside for them to eat. So it won't take them long to figure it out. Uh, like I said, I think it was about five quid. Um, it's not particularly expensive. It's proved very resilient to Roxy. She's a, um, <laughs> a very aggressive chewer, to put it lightly. Uh, so let's go and see how she gets on with it. She knows the gig already. <laughs> she knows what's going to happen. Right then. Well, she already knows to sit. There <laughs> you go then, Rox. Yeah, she's worked out that the food's already in it. Let's pop on the ground. Here we go. <sighs> As you can see, it's, it's just giving someone to th some, uh, something for her to think about, and it spices up the routine of her having something to eat in the evenings. You know, I mean, dogs usually only have one thing to eat. You know, they've got their their big bags of food, and just as it would be boring for you and I, it must be boring for them to just eat the same old bland thing from the same place every single day. So uh, at least this gives it, gives Roxy or any dog really the chance to. <laughs> do something a little bit different and it entertains them and they certainly get very excited when they see uh, their food being brought out in one of their favourite toys. <laughs> Probably having a little bit of difficulty here trying to get that. I think she's got to agree with in there. Yeah, tails dip down a little bit because she's not concentrating on that anymore. She's thinking more about the food. As with all these things, just always make sure your dog's got fresh and clean drinking water. It's something that everyone always says, but it's just important to make sure they do. Oh, there we go. Bit of a gravy burn. I always tend to try and push all the treats. I think you can just make out there. Oops, Oxy's pushed it around for me, thankfully. Uh, you might be able to just see there's a little bit of cheese in there. If you push it right towards the centre and almost sort of bind it in place by pressing it in between your index finger and your thumb, it makes it a bit more of a challenge for your dog and it just means that the game continues for a little bit longer. That way they can enjoy, well you can see Roxy certainly enjoy <laughs> trying to get to it, they sort of try and bite it out, they can try and put their tongue in and try and eat it as well. So it just makes the game last a little bit longer and be a little bit more enjoyable for them. Which just makes a happier dog and uh, which is better for you. There we go, I think she's managed to work it out one side there. There we go, there's a bit. <laughs> Is that it, Ted? Are we all done? Let's have a quick look. That's one hole free just there. <laughs> and that's another hole free. Okay. Good job, Rox. Well done, Ted.